And as usual, I'm John Serba, film critic for the Grand Rapids Press and MLive.com. The comments here on MLive always say, this guy doesn't like any movies, this guy doesn't like any movies, and I get on there and defend myself and say, hey, look, look at these positive reviews I've written. But then, this week, what happens? Four movies open, and I didn't like any of them. Secretariat is this kind of Disney cheese, and My Soul to Take is a mediocre minus uh, horror film. It's kind of a funny story, is a good movie, but I can't really tell people to go out and see it. It's not very substantial. And then uh, Life as We Know It, Katherine Heigl, she hasn't done a good movie in like five years. This continues the trend, a crummy old rom-com. So this week, I'm going to tell you three movies that you need to get out there and see. These are three movies that I do like. They're current. They're now playing. And a couple of them I haven't been able to talk about in these little talking head deals here. So, first of all, if you saw last week's video, you know that I think The Social Network is probably one of the best movies of the year. It's going to get a pile of Oscar nominations, all that stuff. Interesting commentary about the way we communicate. It being about the formation of Facebook and the, and the controversies and the personalities and, and everything involved with that. That is a good movie. That would be number one. Number two, <clears throat> let me in. Go see this. Horror movies are normally very rote, uh, bloody, gory, pointless, plotless, character-free. They're only to shock you, and so rarely truly scary, and Let Me In is one of those movies that fulfills that kind of strange need that we all have to be freaked out once in a while. And it's great. Chloe Moretz best known as Hit Girl from Kick-Ass, plays a little girl who's 12 years old, a vampire. She moves in next door to a boy who is her same age, wants to be friends with her. The atmosphere in this movie is just indelibly creepy. There's a actually kind of a sweet love story there, but it's kind of twisted and bizarre. And, uh, of course, it does have its usual bloody shocks that you'd expect from a horror movie. But they're not so overt. They're spaced out. They're very well done. Go see this. Nobody is going to see it. It did like five million bucks last weekend. Go see it. Build some word of mouth for this movie. It really deserves an audience. And finally, the third movie has been out for a few weeks now. But <clears throat> it's time to say that The Town is a very good film. Ben Affleck, probably a better director than he is actor, believe it or not. Believe it or not, he's a very great, very solid uh, action movie director. The town has some ambitions that it doesn't quite meet. It's trying to be a little profound, doesn't quite cut it. But as an entertaining action drama, I recommend it. You should go see it. Some solid performances by Jeremy Renner and uh, in, a, in a sturdy supporting cast around him and Affleck. Very good movie. Go see it. I'm way over three minutes. Read my reviews here at MLive.com, and I'll see you next week.